Assalamualaikum and welcome to Titli's Busy Kitchen with me, Titli Nihan. If you're thinking of making a pizza, then you better make it properly or not make it at all ever, because you'll just embarrass yourself and nobody will ever eat it. Let's start with the sauce. I've got a beautiful fresh onion. <laughs> Six gorgeous ripe Italian plum tomatoes. A succulent red pepper. Two cloves of garlic and three beautiful large fresh basil leaves. And finally two bay leaves and a teaspoon of the finest dried oregano. <coughs> I've heated 4.0 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to add in my onions which I've chopped very finely. The bell pepper which again I've de-seeded and chopped very finely and the garlic which I've crushed. Now I'm going to sauté these very gently for five minutes. After five minutes the onions and pepper should be nicely softened but not browned at all. I've taken the tomatoes and I've lovingly and seductively peeled and de-seeded and chopped them. I'll add those in together with a teaspoon of light brown sugar, the oregano, two tablespoons of tomato paste and the bay leaves. I'll stir this all together and bring it to the boil. Once it comes to the boil, season with salt and pepper, then cover and leave to simmer very gently for 30 minutes. After half an hour remove the lid, turn off the heat, Pull out the bay leaves and then stir in the basil and just leave it to cool, covered. For the pizza base I've got two cups or 250 grams of plain flour sifted into a bowl. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of sugar, a tablespoon of ultra virgin olive oil, and 150 ml or two thirds of a cup of water with half a teaspoon of dried yeast in it. And I'll mix these together into a dough. Once the dough is well mixed, flour the surface and knead the dough for two or three minutes. After a couple of minutes, make it into a nice ball pop it into a clean bowl, cover it and leave it in a warm place for about an hour, hour and a half. You can see that the dough has almost doubled in size, so I'll take it out, put it onto this floured surface, just knock it back a bit and then I'll roll it out into a 12 inch disc. Now you must roll it into a perfect circle, otherwise the pizza will taste disgusting. I've got a lightly oiled pizza tray here and I'm going to pop my pizza into the tray. Now I can spoon on some of my pizza sauce. Add on a topping of your choice, I'm having mushroom on mine. Then sprinkle on some mighty magnificent fresh mozzarella. And finally, a few grinds of pepper. Now this is going to go into an oven at 220 degrees C for about 10 minutes until the cheese has melted and the base is cooked. If it doesn't look exactly like this, you can't possibly call it a pizza. No one with even half an ounce of respect would use anything but the finest fresh ingredients to make pizza, so don't you let me catch you making pizza any other way. Join me next time in Titley's Dogmatic Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Until next time, Huda Hafiz!